Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Prepared Monday. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man. And staying in line with foot care, we're next going to talk about socks. And I know some people were complaining, Oh my God, you're talking about foot care and boots. Why are you talking about this? Well, truly being emergency prepared does mean having the correct footwear. Does mean having the correct socks does mean knowing how to take care of your feet just like knowing to carry moleskin and how to apply it is important if you're having to walk long distances in shoes that may or may not be broken in correctly and with socks of dubious quality now for those of you out there who have done plenty of ruck marches with military branches of service most of what I'm saying is not going to be a surprise for you. For some of you out there who backpack or seriously hike or wander, most of this is not going to be a surprise either. But what you do need to be looking at, especially if you're one of these newer preppers or one of these people who don't have a lot of experience backpacking, is you need good, comfortable, calf-high socks. And we're not talking the cheapo specials at Walmart. Those are not going to actually do you very well. I mean, you can turn them inside out and the smooth surface slides across the skin a lot better than some of the other socks out there on the market that are supposed to be specialty socks. But what you're looking for is you're looking more for actual hiking socks. And even if you're using, say, jungle hiking socks, which should only be used in hotter climates. You might also want to consider wearing the smooth side in on your boot. It will actually help allow you to not get friction rub or friction burn, which can in turn lead to blisters. So you take and you turn that little tactile, nubby, soft, cushy stuff out you let that grip the leather of your boot and the canvas or whatever else your boot is made of. And you let that smooth surface slide across your foot. And that way you've got smooth on smooth. And it feels really weird when you first start doing it. Because it is most definitely not an intuitive way to wear your socks. It, you feel like you're going to slide out of your sock while you're putting your shoe on. It's a really odd feeling. But it really will help in the long run because it'll give you that smooth, almost paper-on-paper -paper glide because there's so less friction. Whereas that little nubby uh, material, that, that soft, fluffier material that's really grabby, will be on the outside grabbing your shoe and holding your sock and your foot in your shoe. I know it sounds really weird. Now, also what you're wanting to do is make sure that the socks you're picking up are temperature rated for the region that you're going to be surviving in. If not, you're going to have to learn to make your own socks, and that means you're going to have to learn to knit because realistically, wool makes some of the best sock material. And there are ways to make socks from scratch. I don't recommend trying them unless you have to. I do recommend that you go and do some research on it, but in the meantime, you need to go and look for the right thermal density of sock and make sure that your boots match your thermal density needs as well, because without good boots and good socks working in tandem, you can end up with a lot of serious issues on your feet in an environment where you're trying to survive and the second you no longer have functioning feet you're done you're not going to be surviving anymore human beings are bipedal creatures we have to have well-maintained feet to operate and we're not as sensitive as say some of the hoofed animals but we are still very susceptible to foot damage and therefore you've got to take care of your feet people well, thank you all again for joining me on this fine prepared Monday. If you're catching this on YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe. If you're catching me on VidMe, please remember to upvote and follow.
Don't be afraid to come on over to Minds.com, have some discussions with me. There's some great survival forums there, as well as preparedness forums. And as always, have yourself a great day.